What's good YouTube, it's your boy Musilos Fitness. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through my awesome leg workout. It was brutal, it was not a lot of fun, but I have a love-hate relationship with leg day. And today I thought, you know what, let me try this little voiceover thing, um, see how you guys take it. And if you guys enjoy it, give it a like and I'll record all my other workouts. As you guys know as well, I have changed my workout program. So now I'm doing push-pull leg, rest day, and then I'm doing upper lower rest day. So two days a week, two days a week resting, which is today. Today's a Sunday. Um, yeah, that's the plan for the next four to six weeks. See how that goes. If I'm still enjoying it, keep it that way. Uh, if I'm getting results as well, why change it? Why change it if it's bro if it's not broken? Very simple. But yeah, let's get into this one. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I'm gonna try and give you guys as many tips and things that come to my mind whilst we're watching. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Play me. So, as you can see, we got one plate on here. Because um, me, I like to do my warm-up sets before I even get to the working sets. Focus on foot placement. Make sure I'm telling my legs, yo, we're about to do some serious stuff. Wake up. I know you've been sleeping, but wake up. And obviously, just focus on the form, focus on the contraction. As you can see, I'm really like, I close my eyes. Really, that mind and muscle connection is vital. That's the only way you can really get into those muscle fibers if your mind is in the right place. So I always do work up, work like warm up sets. Um, up to my working set, this is still a warm up set. Hang on, like I got five plates on here, and we we just out here ripping out. Um, I'm not gonna go too crazy and go like 20 reps or anything like that because I don't want to burn out before I get to my working sets, which is this seven plates. This is my working set. Um, did this for. I should actually use my phone because I got it on my phone. Wait, give me two seconds. <laughs> Pulse. Let's, let's let's check the workout, obviously, because you've got to track the workouts. If you're not tracking your workouts, it's not good. You need to track. That's the only way you can really make progressive overload. Um, so, that leg day one is here. Low leg press Y to target the quads first. That's the reason why my legs are low and not high. High is more hamstrings. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay, so we did five sets six reps 300 kg get that five sets six reps 300 kg rest period 180 seconds that is the rest period as you guys can see my legs are not small it's because i'm a tall guy i'm six foot three so 192 193 centimeters how tall i am look at my legs my, my legs are not small so when I cut down, which I am right now, and I start getting different issues, whee, my legs are going to look different. But that's the last place I lose fat in my legs and lower, lower stomach area. But yeah, that's what we did for this one. I'm just going to keep the workout here so I can show you guys exactly what reps. And you don't have to copy this, by the way. Do not copy what I'm doing. Um, everyone's different. But yeah, that's what I chose to do. So just here really and keeping my reps exactly the same from start to finish every single repetition is being performed the same i'm not speeding it up trying to get the reps out quickly you know i'm not going too slow i'm just keeping that tempo the same out that's the best way to make progressive overload if you have to change your form when you're working out you are doing it wrong it's that simple you're either lifting too much to handle or too little but either way, do not change your form. When you started the warm-ups to when you're doing the work, working sets, your form needs to be strict and consistent. Comprende? Cool. That, that's the only way to make progressive overload. If you're out here trying to make the numbers go up faster, 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 but you're losing your form, you're not feeling it in the muscle, and you're looking at yourself in the mirror like, why am I, numbers not, why am I not looking any different? Why am I still looking the same? Your form is whack. You're not feeling it in the muscle. That's just the reality. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's that simple. But yeah, let's carry on. We're on to leg extensions. Exercise number two. This one I did. Five pulls. Ten full. And then five pulls again. So 20 reps in total. Um, did that for four sets of 65 kg. I lean kind of tilted forward. So that way I can really just focus on engaging my quads really pushing through and i'm not fully locking out my knees as you can see i'm not really locking it out but yeah the pause reps be killing 
Um, again, that's just to confuse the body, switch it up every now and then. If I'm just doing straight 20 reps, my body's going to be like, yeah, I know what he's going to do. He's on a leg extension. He's just going to bang out 20 reps, four sets. That's what he normally does. If I switch it up, I give it five pulls in the beginning. It's like, wait, wait, hold up. Why are we, why are we still up here? Why are we pausing? Keep going. Keep going. Nah, pause. <laughs> then give it 10 full reps. Bam, 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 bam. And then pause again another five. My body's going to be like, wait, my legs are going to confuse. Just got more than that. That's what will happen. So you have to switch it up every now and then. Especially if you've been training for many, many years. Um, stick to the basics. But, you know, tempo, pause reps, drop sets, those type of things, supersets. You really need to start applying those um, in order to kind of take it to like the next level. It's not always necessary, but it's good. Look, I'm, I'm hurting. I was hurting. <laughs> Next up, we went to the hex school. Yes, yes, yes. Big boy weights. We went for what? What do we do? Hex squat. Um, four sets. Wait, hold up. Four sets, six reps, 160 kg. Yeah, 160 kg. That's including the machine, by the way. Yeah, the machine. The machine's 20 by itself um rest period by the way on the leg extension was 120 seconds this one was 180 because it's so heavy i needed three minutes to recover as you can see really again breathe in take a deep breath in and push out <sighs> excel at the bottom to really make sure i give it everything right, let me let me run it back because i don't feel like somebody you saw that i'll run it back a little bit so here okay, here look Deep breath in, go down, and expel up. <sighs> Keep that tempo throughout. I'm hurting. Still hurting. Okay, here, we got a leg curl, but this is a superset. So this is pretty much the final exercise. But yeah, superset, we did 20 reps. Um, 20 reps. Wait. 20 reps, four sets, and then we did a lunges. As well here you can see my hands i've placed it on my hamstrings to really again mind and muscle connection really get engaged um and then i went on to the lunge the lunge using a 15 kg thing whatever weight going up 10 uh five on each leg and then coming back again five on each leg uh, that's normally how i do it and obviously as the weeks go by i will start bringing dumbbells in because this is the highest weight 15 kg the next thing I will use dumbbells, 10 kgs, 20, and then go up from there, 25, 30, eventually. Um, just because you are cutting doesn't mean you need to reduce the weight. You want the muscles to stay. You, know, you want them. You want to give the muscle a reason to stay. So keep the weight high, keep it at that, and then keep pushing. Did that for four sets as well. Um, because, I've, again, I've been training for a very long time. My sets of norm are normally like between four and six i normally sometimes i do eight sets of something um but then i don't do that many exercises air calf raises we're doing seated ones i normally do standard ones or you have the one where your legs are like 90 degrees and then you push up i like that's a different gym so it depends what gym i go to but this is what i did as the final thing um i do also do calves on like also do calves on like um other days like in between sets of like say if i'm doing a push day i might do calves um in like my warm-up sets uh, in the beginning when i'm doing like incline dumbbells and push-ups in that rest period i might just go do a bit couple reps on half raises and get back to the main workout um calves is a stubborn one for most people not everyone but if you're like me <laughs> i ain't got them genetics there for my calves to be popping so i need to train them Two, three times a week um about four or five sets of those 20 25 reps each um, but yeah that was it for the workout hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um if you guys have any questions the comment section is yours and i will be bringing more of these videos to you guys as always thank you guys for supporting we're almost at a thousand subs insane um hopefully in the next few weeks we'll be getting more results physique wise and stuff um, I'm really happy with this training program. The first week is complete now and I can tell you I'm really liking it It's nice to switch it up a little bit and actually give my body the rest that it needs um, I can already see that I'm, I'm able to lift weights and stuff in Because I'm getting two days rest 
four hours just training every day going like a madman and sleep and everything is good as well so yeah keep pushing and hopefully the results will come along as well um, hopefully you learned something from this video as well um, took away something yeah let's go love life love life love life peace